So now let's talk about what you need to do to submit this first assignment and it's pretty straightforward. You have to acquire a GitHub username. Now this is kind of my joke here, how to get started uh, with this course. Okay, so Git is an important part and Git is the software and GitHub is the website. Now I'll provide a link here, but I already have it uh, up. Uh, well, actually I don't have it up. I'll do that in a minute. But I thought I would start with kind of what I showed on the last one where I asked, right? And my question for the LLM in this case was how important is it to learn Git for IT professionals? Now, I'm not surprised by the answer, but it is extremely important for IT professionals, and here's why. And it goes through the list, but version control is the reason we're going to use it. But again, I believe it's a fundamental skill for any IT professional collaboration, open source contribution. So if you and your future might contribute to open source projects, uh, this would be a way you would do it. It's the industry standard, which is really what this first one talks about. So Git is a de facto standard for version control in the software industry. And you might think, well, I'm not going into to software necessarily. Well, either in the data analytics or in the web development pathways, you will deal with Git at some point. I'm just going to tell you this is, a, uh, this is going to be in your future. So the sooner you learn it, the better. Okay. So again, you know, go ask your favorite LLM or search, search engine. Why is it important? And you will get uh, an interest. It'd be interesting to see the different answers that we get. We get, <laughs> it's hard to talk about Git because, right? Uh, it's just in the word itself. Go get it. Okay, so you need to create and or provide. So if you already have a Git username, then you're good to go. And then I'll show you at the end of this video how to uh, how to provide me that name because as part of our course, and let me just go ahead and bring up GitHub real quick without um, that location, but just at the home page. Here's where you would sign up. So Git is a, a free uh, service that's provided. And so I say that because when, during the sign up, if for some reason you see a, um, you know, pay for professional level account, do not do that. It is a free, completely free account. And uh, so you provide it, you can, you don't have to use your campus email, you can use some other email, you do have to come up with a unique username. So uh, I have had mine so long, it actually is my name, but you will probably have to come up with something depending on the, the commonality uh, of your uh, first and last name. So anyway, walk through that process and then when you're done, what will happen and you will log in, which by the way, Git does require, if you've heard this term, two-factor, two-factor authentication, okay? Two-factor authentication means not only do you need a password, but you also need some other type of security uh, uh, numbering or security um to get into the system. Generally, most students will, as we've done on campus, set up their uh, an SMS so that sends a, t a number to your phone so that you can um, both give it a password and the two-factor authentication. Okay, so do that process. And then I was showing you here, then log in. And when you log in, you will be placed into your, your particular uh, corner of GitHub. Now, this is where you may over time develop uh, various repos. Repos are basically what you can think of if you don't have any experience with Git or GitHub. It's basically a folder um, that allows you to place all your code in a related uh, folder structure. For us, by the way, this username is what you're going to provide me in a in a at the end of this assignment. But I will just tell you the reason we're using this is not only to teach you about Git, is it's part of the way you take this course. So I have a course organization for. Um, our course has its own organization on GitHub. So what you will end up doing is what I will end up doing is inviting you into this course organization. And I can't do that 
until you give me your git username and then we will create repos um, on this and this will be the first thing we do um, in your next item so the thing you have to think about and I probably have talked about this in the other one is the timing of when you do this so the sooner you provide me your git username the sooner I can invite you okay so I would say no matter if you intend on like if you happen to be seeing this video early I would definitely tell you uh, have that submission of the username so I can invite you by the way those invites do expire in seven days so make sure you accept them and again I'll have talked about that uh, in the next video okay so the second thing I'm going to talk about before I show you how to do this is the use of discord for this course so if you haven't heard of discourse it's a um, it's a very popular in many different areas of IT uh, and if you've heard of something like Slack or Microsoft Teams, this is um, the more popular version. <laughs> Actually, Slack is very popular. I shouldn't say it's more popular. I use Discord because it's com it's free, uh, and it allows me to run uh, for all of my classes, provide a way for student-to-student -student communication. And that's really what I want you to understand, is that this system is really meant for you to ask other students questions. Now, if I happen to be available and I know the answer to your question I will I will reply but here's the deal I've noticed that students and I have different schedules often not all the time some students have my same schedule because I get up early um, I grade early I go work out um, my typical day will end around 6 in the evening as far as my work schedule goes so sometimes you may be working at a time I'm not Okay, I've left it here on, on general, and you're probably reading this wondering what this is. And this is just a general, uh, in this case, it's a channel. And this is where students who have taken my course before may be having discussions, which is really fun to watch. Uh, I've taught Python before, so that is a channel. JavaScript is, uh, of course, one of the classes I teach. Just if you had a Fresno City College question, you might, or cybersecurity, because I've also taught in that area. But below here, here are what we call the private channels and this is where we have a private channel for just you and your fellow students meaning these channels up here could be for anybody on the server and these channels are only and in this case this channel that I'm talking about for this course is only meant for you and your classmates okay so what you will do is if you know this is not required by any means okay um, if you want to connect with me directly, do it through the inbox because I don't do direct messages on Discord for a variety of reasons, mostly campus related. So just know that it's a student to student communication. And when you want to talk to me, you know, or either come see me, contact me through the inbox through Canvas. But uh, Discord is really not meant for that. So if you do accept, here's the invite to join the server. Once you get on, you'll be put into the general. I definitely, at the very top of general, I do, and I actually have a code of conduct channel as well because, and both of them have uh, this link at the very top that talks about that there's a code of conduct for our server and I want you to understand that coming into it because everybody is agreed that we have a code that we are conducting ourselves within that code and I'm adopting the one from Python because Python is a very solid community who has developed these standards that allows us to say you know we adopt this and if you want to read it which I highly recommend before you get into the server uh, is to understand the behaviors by which we all agree uh, that we do like no inappropriate images or languages uh, anyway stuff like that so check that out then once you if you have joined and you want to be added into the channel then you can in general just say you know hey Rio could you add me uh, I'd like to be added into in this case let's say CIT 28 now you may be taking some of my other courses so you could ask me hey I'm taking this and this course could you add me into those channels as well Okay, so that's Discord, the code of conduct. I've talked about GitHub. So let's just talk about now the last thing you need to do to actually 
complete this item. So like I said before, here, if you just go to GitHub, once you sign in, you will see, uh, you know, your particular name on GitHub. So all I need is that name, okay? So what you would do, once you have it, let me go here, is you're going to actually submit this assignment. Now let me change this because I'm not viewing it as a student, just so you can see what that looks like, okay? So now here, what you would do is you would say start the assignment, okay? I'd already done this, so uh, no. Okay, I'm going to show it from the beginning, okay? There we go. So what will happen is this text box will come, avail come up, and then what you would do is just type in your GitHub username, and then hit submit, and then remember that there is a there could be a lag between when you ask me to, or when you get the invite. Uh, you will need it right away in week one, so the sooner you do this step, the better, because the next item, and let's just say I go ahead and submit that item, the next item is week one uh, attendance, and I'm going to step back here for a minute just to show you, because you could go next here, and it would talk about uh, then your week one attendance, and this is what you uh, will be doing next, and in order to do this work, you have to have given me that username, and you have to accepted the invite, which I will talk about in the beginning of this one. Okay, I'm glad you're here. Uh, I hope this gives you a good start. I look forward to connecting with you and uh, time to get started. Have a great semester. Bye.